Welcome back to Vancouver Carpenter for mud framey video number two of this bony wall or whatever the heck it is. Anyways, get to it. Okay, so this confill is now nice and set up and it's time to scrape off lift offs like this. Be sure to jam your knife into the wires as hard as you can. That's how you passive aggressively show your feelings about the fact that they're there in the first place. It gets the point across. <laughs> Mash the bench like I taught you. Why don't we clip this one? This is Nick's fantastic invention. He figured this one out. Ta-da! Oops. Careful. Oh, I did it again. Now I gotta get this stuff on, like my life depends on it before it sets up on me. I mixed it 20 minutes ago. And this time is more of a skim. Got to get to the mud pretty quick because the new stuff can start to kick off a little bit over top of the old stuff. Woo! That was a good one. Okay, oh, that lights. Be careful I don't get shocked by the wet mud hitting one of the little bolts giving me a little buzz. It's happened before. Just to make it awesome. And there's gonna be a skirt board, right Nick? There is. Good, so I don't have to make it too pretty on the bottoms here. A little more mud right here. Just for no good reason other than I think I should. This spot's annoying. It's gonna take a couple of coats to really make it look good. Here, I'm over here. So it's kind of just the same thing over, but it goes on a little bit tighter. Watch out. And it starts looking a lot smoother. That was a massive blob on the floor.
I've actually added a little bit of taping mud into this mix of confill. Help, helps keep it a little slicker, helps the adhesion. Right? There's lots of room. So I can easily bring this out. pretty far back here because this got flared out pretty far so we don't want to see that because it'll be ugly people think well your walls aren't very flat now they're not supposed to be technically flat this is drywall it's supposed to be the illusion of flat we are creating long rolling undulation not totally flat walls just the appearance of flat okay so we can tune that up with regular mud so i'm going to leave that as it is now so now it's time to let this set up before i can skim coat it it's probably going to take two skim coats, to be honest. So the next thing I did was a couple of tight skims over the wall to really smooth out the surface, get rid of the bubbles, and to flatten it out even a little bit more. After skimming it out to see how flat it looked, there was one spot that was still bugging me. So I brought the Darby out and checked it and then gave it a quick float. So now that it's sanded off, it's gonna get one last coat. So let's take a quick look at how this is because it's not perfect. I mean, I didn't make it perfectly flat, but what I did is I gave it the appearance of looking flat. So if we go like this, I can see that there's sort of a one foot flat range, but it does still rock over the four foot of this Darby. But when I take a 14 inch trowel, and I go just about anywhere, it's quite flat. So that's what we're going for, is that, you know, over about one foot to 14 inches, it's totally flat. And you move your hand around and you can't feel any speed bumps anywhere. So it's nice and smooth. So I just need to give this one more skim now. And that's, that's mud framing, you guys. So this is now looking nice and straight, so that's good. What we didn't want to have was that crazy arced bead that was here the last time.
Well, here it is. That footage was actually nine months old. So let's take a close look at this. I mean, everything's fine. Let's start with right here, the corner bead that some people were saying, Ben, one good hit to that. And it's gonna break. Well, maybe if you're bringing a couch up here and you slam into it, yeah, but can somebody name me a corner bead that will take a hit from a couch or a piece of furniture? Because as far as I know, basically drywall corner beads are garbage. So I think these actually turned out stronger than a lot of the other ones because how much mud is in, around, and behind these. So it just, unless you actually just dent the actual metal, these are pretty solid. Not only that, let's take a look at some of the problem spots. Okay, so there was these parts that were built up so much. It's not cracked. It hasn't cracked after smacking on it like that. We had this other spot back here where I put some mesh tape. It hasn't cracked. Probably can't see it with this horrible light. This flange here hasn't cracked. It's solid. Okay, let's get to these horrible joints up here that are like three-eighths of an inch thick. It looks and feels totally flat. Like I can't see the hump in the wall at all. We got this spot where I put that tape across where the beads join, no crack. No crack up here. So it's solid. I mean, it's looking good. A lot of months later and I expect it to look good for a long time still. Anyways, guys, um, that's it. Here's the wall. This is the job. You know, these methods are not for beginners. Like if somebody who is inexperienced at drywall tries to do this, yeah, you're probably gonna mess it up. And shimming the drywall is probably gonna be your best method. But you know, when I show up to a job and I'm ready to tape, I'm not gonna get the drill out. I'm not gonna start shimming everything unless absolutely necessary. If I can fix it by installing beads with more mud using quick sets, that's what I'm gonna do. And in this case, I had the time to let it dry. So that would be the only other problem where shimming might be necessary. If it's gonna take forever to dry and you need to get the job done quickly, then yeah, you're probably gonna wanna shim it instead of build it out with so much mud. But you know, in this case, it had the time to dry and it's doing good now. None of it shrank after the fact, so I'm happy with this job. Anyways, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. Hope you guys got something useful out of this, you know, mud framey videos. Anyways, you know, till the next video. I don't know what it'll be or when it'll be. Don't ask me that. Thank you.